Welcome to this week's video. Apologies for my washing machine in the background. We just gotta let it do its thing. I gotta tackle the lamp for my niece's bedroom. She wants the hot air balloon Ikea hack thing. I feel like I've bitten off more than I can chew. Let me take this out the wrapper. Oh my. This is Risbit. Oh, there's a little metal thing as well inside. Okay, don't throw out the bag. You can do this IKEA hack with one of the cheaper, they look like Chinese lantern lamps. I was feeling bougie, but I think this could possibly be too big. I think, oh, this is big. This going, actually, this could be cool. Um, I don't, I'm not sure yet what is the top and what is the bottom. I think that should be the bottom. It's more hot air balloon shaped. So I'm going to use this as the base. This is slightly more expensive. I th actually, no, it's a good bit more expensive. I think the Chinese lantern cheaper one is about three or four euro in Ikea. I think this was around the 20 euro mark, but I thought that the shape of it was a bit better. So I went for this one, but you can use the other version if you want to keep the cost down. I also have, I'll figure out what's the correct way to stick it up. There is a little metal thing. There is this little hook thing inside. The instructions has it with the long end up, but I wonder, can I change that? Oh, okay, we may have to do it this way. I think I have the ceiling height of Lily's bedroom jotted down on my notebook from when I was doing the paneling. It's probably going to be similar to my own, so I can use that as a guide before I go around to her house. My concern is, will it be too low? So I'm going to make sure the basket isn't too low. I picked up a set of Lurpasa, Lurpasa baskets. They come in a set of two. I think they were seven euro, don't quote me though. So I think I'm going to use one of these baskets as the little, the bottom basket, the little hot air balloon basket. But you could totally use, I was thinking, like a milk carton, the base of a milk carton wrapped in twine, um, a little box. Like you could totally use a recycled piece. I am just trying to keep my life as easy as I can <laughs> so I don't have to make a basket. But I think I will make cute little sacks to stick on and some bunting. Anyway, first thing I'm gonna do, find something to hold this up as I paint it, and yeah. Let's, let's do this. I would just like to share my construction. <laughs> I was thinking to make it easier to paint the lamp, I need to hang it off something. I have a uh, tripod arm for filming and a chair. And I have decided, I don't know how sturdy it is, but I'm gonna use this to help me paint. I wanna do like a two-tone color. I think I'm gonna do a pinky shade and white. But because this lantern, if you can see, it already has these lines, I'm gonna use these as a guide. I might trace them on in pencil so that I don't make a mistake, but they are quite prominent. So I'm going to use them as my guide. Let's have a look in the stash. I knew I had some of this. So I'm gonna use this. Oh, what is very messy for defining the lines and doing some detail. And I have a second bag as well. These are actually from the middle aisle of either Little or Aldi. Um, so I'm gonna take this, but I'm gonna sort my, my mess out. And then as for paints, I'm sure there is some colors here for me to pick.
painting my balloon took longer than it took. I think I wallpapered Lily's bedroom quicker. And I'll scuff and paint my face. Paint on my face. Um, just a little thing I noticed. Obviously, because this is a thick paper, it's weakest when it's got wet paint on it. So you have to be careful not to tear it while the paint is wet. This side that I began is starting to dry and that's totally fine now. That's nice and robust. But yeah, the wet paint makes the lantern delicate. I did. Gotta keep it real fam. I did make a teeny tiny hole down the bottom, but I don't think my niece is gonna notice and I'm not gonna tell her. I might use some PVA glue on the hole just to stiffen it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get the glue going now. I'm not joking when I say I probably wallpapered her bedroom quicker than I have done that. That is three hours of work. And um, when you're painting this, the middle section is quite fiddly because it does the moving. Maybe if you there was two people painting it and you just could paint opposite each other. And then this was like another hour. It's intricate work. So I just was playing around with her basket, trying to figure out what's the best way to make the basket and stick it in. And you know what I was thinking? I wonder, has she got any, sil well, she does have Sylvanians, because I've gotten them for her. Wouldn't little Sylvanians look cute poking their heads out? They might get lost in the basket, but I could put like a little something inside. I'm gonna have to come back to this tomorrow. I actually have woodwork class now this evening, hence the cup of tea, I need to go get changed. So I'm gonna sleep on this and figure out what's the best way to do the basket and then put some little tiny things on the basket as well. So I'll see you tomorrow.
Now, the sandbags, I'm after trying to use my glue gun, I'm actually gonna shut that off for a minute, um, to do the sandbags, but so my glue gun is a bit too heavy duty. It's kind of like a hardcore crafting one. I'd say if I had one of the um, general smaller ones, they don't get as hot as this baby. So, I've just made little squares of fabric from a scrap piece of fabric that I have in my stash. I just picked um, the pieces with no patterns on them. I'm actually gonna run them on the sewing machine really quickly. And they're just squares. I haven't even cut them perfectly even. I'm just going to seam, stitch down here, 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 leave the top open, turn them the right way out and stuff them with, again, some filler that's in my stash. I think this is like wadding for blankets. Um, and then I will use a bit of twine. This was actually wrapping up the other twine yesterday. And I should have little sandbags. <laughs> My niece is not even gonna like notice. Maybe she will, I don't know. Uh, but sandbags are important because I was on a hot air balloon years ago. Not that long ago, like five years ago. And I found it quite relaxing. I know they're not like the safest things, but I actually found it really relaxing. And we need our little sandbags to weigh us down. Um, another thing I was thinking, <laughs> I didn't think this true. So my hot air balloon over there, I have to transport it, not fly it, uh, around to my niece's house. And I, cause I've glued that rope on, like that is a folding thing, but because I've glued it, I'm gonna have to somehow hang it off my car roof. I don't know, like dangle it. <laughs> I didn't think this was true. Um, and as well, the basket. This is what I'm thinking possibly I might bring my glue gun around to my niece's house and stick the basket on in the house. Um, I'm gonna stick these to the bottom piece that you can't see because my chair is in the way. But um, I think I might just do that. I might do the basket to have it ready and then glue it in my niece's house because then I don't have to worry about oh, breaking it. <laughs> breaking it in the car. Anyway, I'm off to make um, <laughs> mini sandbags. What else would I be doing? Okay, operation, get the lampshade around the corner. It's a five minute drive, but we got speed bumps. I'm gonna put it on the passenger seat. And it does want to, oh, I think it will hold its shape. The bottom feels a bit like it wants to collapse. Yeah, like if I stick it on the ground, 
not too bad. It's just kind of sitting. I'll pop it in the car anyway. <laughs> I hope I don't break it. It's resting. It's resting on some wood from my woodwork class. So I think it's going to be okay. Do you ever wonder if like the guards are going to stop and be like, what is in your car? Anyway, I'll keep you posted if I get it around in one piece. So that is all I've got for you for this Thursday's video. I haven't, my niece was in school when I put the lamp up um, and I didn't have time to wait for her to see, to see her reaction. So I'm hoping she likes it. I hope I fit the brief. I'll let you know if it passed Lily's test. Something I noticed actually with the balloon, if you are gonna do it yourself is, I didn't give my colored pieces, two coats of paint. And when you turn the light on, I don't know if I got a shot with the light on. If you've made any mistakes, they'll show through. So thankfully Lily has other lights in the room. <laughs> so this is on the big light, but just something to bear in mind that when you turn the light on and if your paint job is in any way off, it's gonna show it. But when the light isn't on, it's not as harsh. Just a little thing that I copped as I was doing it. I was like, oh, I should have given that two coats of paint. Another thing is if you are doing the um, IKEA lamp pack is it takes longer to do than you think. <laughs> the painting of it took me forever. Well, it felt like it did because um, it is a bit fiddly and making teeny tiny bunting as well is also quite fiddly and teeny tiny uh, sand sacks, but it was fun though. It was fun, I really enjoyed doing this one. For anyone who missed Lily's bedroom makeover journey, um, I'll pop in a card in the description. Um, if you just click them, if you're on mobile, if you just, it's a really tiny more button. If you click more, um, it will drop down and there will be links and everything to the other videos and anything else mentioned in the video. I don't know if you can hear my microwave in the background. I'd be heating up my lunch. <laughs> I will see you in Sunday's garden video and then I'll see you in next Thursday's video as well.